pretty. <laughs> Do you guys see this dress? Obsessed. I'm, I'm fixed. It's very cute. Not something I would go for. Um, but I do like that it's versatile. I mean, I can wear this up, I can wear it down. I'm obsessed. I love it, it's so cute. I feel like a doll. The puppy sleeve, the material. Pretty fur. I just feel, you know what? I feel like I couldn't really, really just right now go out to a restaurant. I feel very girly, I feel very beautiful, very cute. Um, I love dresses like this, they always feel very whimsical. Love it over dramatic sleeve, the material feels great. You know what? Let's not involve me. Let's do friendship this time. Probably gonna go out with drinks with the girls. You know what I mean? Hair done, lashes done, everything. I think this is a great transitional dress. So love an LBD, but this is one of those dresses that you can wear to a late afternoon date that can move into nighttime depending on how you style it. It'll be a day date, like during the day, like a lunch date, um, I'm feeling. This would be cute for a brunch date or a picnic, basically just something outside. So one, people can see me because, come on, hello. I would never wear this out on a first date, child. Ha! Not me. If I'm in a very committed relationship with either like my boyfriend or my husband. I really do like the traditional going out for dinner at night, candlelit. I am all about the adventure. I love a good experience. So whether we're painting or maybe doing a pottery class, oh my gosh, a cooking class for a date would be so cute. My number one uh, rule is views. Uh, I need views. Wherever I go, I need views. Give me luxury, please. Anything else luxury. I love active. I love games. So I need to be doing something competitive. My ideal date is one that has effort and chemistry. Those are the two things that I need. Everyone looks good in a little black dress, okay? Black gives you an air of sophistication, it makes you feel cool, it gives sexy. I think it has to be a staple. Every woman needs a little black dress in their closet. Honey, black is slimming. I feel like black somehow just hugs the right things. It's just something about black that has, it just makes a statement. It's very nice, it's very sexy, it's beautiful, and it's just an all-rounder. Black literally gives you confidence and it definitely snatches your body. Black knows how to accentuate a figure. Whatever dress it is, it could be uh, this type of dress, it could be like a slow body con dress, it could be whatever type of dress. As long as it's black, it's gonna look good. Very cute. I love pink, obviously. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love this. This is what I'm talking about. I have no words. Speechless. Obsessed. I feel exposed. First of all. Secondly, I'll, you won't catch me out in this dress ever. So this dress is a short bodycon. I don't wear short bodycon. When things are this length, I like the silhouette to be out there. So I decided to style it with a skirt so that the silhouette can go out. And then with my favorite leather jacket. I'm loving it. You know, I just, as I said, I always want to look sexy. So this is definitely giving sexy. Sexy, it's weird. I think my relationship with it has changed over the years. Sexy is not a word I use to describe myself. Sexy is a word that I can put on and take off. I'm very sexy. Like, I think even when I look classy, it's also will definitely give some sexiness. You know, that, you know, I know that mademoiselle kind of sexy, like the Chanel sexy. And this is exactly what's getting. It's not a word I would use um, on a daily, like, ooh, I feel sexy, I feel, no. Sex is a very interesting word in that I don't know if I always really connected with it but now I'm redefining what it means for myself. It's a feeling. Um, I don't always feel sexy so it's definitely a feeling for me. Oh yes, especially recently. 
Oh, I feel so grown and sexy. I'm in my late 20s right now and it's taken me a while to get here. But sexy now is me in this body. When I look in the mirror, I'm just like, Trezor, damn girl, you're fine. You're grown and you're fine. When I turn heads, <laughs> I feel my most sexy when I'm all dressed up, like right now. Like that's when I look. I feel it, I feel like, can't tell me anything. Step on the neck, let them crack. I feel sexy when I'm naked, when I'm looking in the mirror. I feel sexy when I'm wearing a really good outfit that makes me feel like, yeah, you look, you look like a baddie, you look good, you look gorgeous, you look beautiful. When I'm just being me, no makeup on, no fancy clothes on, when I can still be me and still feel the same about myself, and I feel even sexier, obviously, when I'm dressed up and I've got makeup on like I look right now. I don't know, I'm that person who thinks that the chemistry and the compatibility will flow into one. You can have like a lot of chemistry, but it just won't work. I guess I err more towards the side of compatibility, but I do want, I do want band to love. I do want to ha ha he he. You do have to be compatible with a person because you could have chemistry and then there's no compatibility and you could be compatible and then there's no chemistry. So there needs to be a balance of both for me, for sure. The success of a first date, uh, it starts from the very beginning. Just how he conducts himself, like is he late to pick me up? Is he late to the date? Then, um, the chats. I'm a bands and chats person. Love the banter, let's back and forth. And then, just being an overall kind person to the wait staff and the service people there. So. You know those kind of dates that you go on to? And it's supposed to be one thing and then like nobody wants to go home and then you go to the next place and you go to the next place and you go to the next place. That's, for me, success. I want to want to see you again. If the drinks are flowing, nothing can go wrong. Trust me. So let the drinks come. Don't tell me don't drink, sir. Because I'm a drink, okay? I'm on my phone. Tell me where are you? Or I'm like, can you have my friend? So we can spend your money. Ah <laughs> oh, man, if we're just not vibing, if there's no like chemistry and compatibility, then I'm sorry, this was nice to know you, but I gotta go. Sometimes one word exchanges. No second date, no ways. <laughs> if the person is rude, if you don't have any manners, I already know, you will not see me again. Seeing how the date treats other people is like a big thing. Like how are you um, with the staff in the restaurant? Are you rude? Are you very brash? If you think that you should wait 90 days before you pay for a first date, it's fine. I don't need you. I'm good. Thanks. I feel exposed as well because it's very hungry and like, ciao. You see it all, honey. I feel so cute, so beautiful, so gorgeous. Very gorgeous. I feel hot. Yeah. I feel hot in this. I think it's the red. Love black girls in red. I'm digging the lady in red. I don't usually wear these figure hugging body con, but it's giving grown woman. It's giving classy, sophisticated. Lady in red. <laughs> it's giving lady in red. Do you understand? As soon as you walk into a restaurant, ah. Uh, Everyone stops the traffic, you know, ah, you get me. It is really tight. This is another thing that I would never have before, before I wore this. But now that I'm wearing it, I love it. I love how nicely it hugs my body. For me, man always has to pay. Especially because he's the one that asked me out. That, like there's no, it shouldn't be a debate, it shouldn't be a question. He's gonna pay. Didn't I leave my house? Didn't I put on makeup? Do I not look like this? Just be a gentleman and pay, especially for the first date. I know for sure I never asked a nigga on a date. So I'm I mean, they didn't ask me. So if you ask me, that means I'm not spending my time with you. 
so you pay. But if you can't, I don't mind paying for you, nigga. Like if, like if, like you broke, it's fine. It's a team. <laughs> Not me. Tell you that for free. Not me. It shows character, man. So it's not just about the coins, cause I can pay. But if I pay, you ain't seeing me again. I feel like it shows such gentlemanliness when a guy pays for the first date. Both people are supposed to pay. You know what? You're a grown up. You are bringing yourself on to this date. This person is not your parent. Please can you just pay for yourself? I need all of us to just pay for ourselves and be done with it. Make sure you're drinking when you date, guys. Like, don't be those girls who order tea. And also, don't be scared of conversations. Be memorable. You need to go on dates with different people so that you can understand better which qualities you like in a man and which ones that you don't like and which ones you don't appreciate. Just get really clear about your dating goals, whether you're dating for fun or whether you're dating for something serious and just be super forthcoming with that. Don't be so attached to the end result necessarily um, and just appreciate every experience for what it is. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, go in there really to just learn about who they are um, and make that the experience. Um, I've grown to understand that the men that are online are men that don't know how to share, unfortunately. They don't know how to talk to women, just plain and simple. So I think to have a better time dating, I would say be mentally prepared for it. I would say do the work internally first so that when somebody else approaches you, you can say either yes or this is not part of my fantasy. Thanks so much for watching guys and thank you so much for the fix for making sure the girls are fitted for this episode.